making a difference off the field. Our next guests are world-class athletes who have gone beyond their respective sports to reach out to those in need. Joining us are two of the latest inductees to the World Sports Humanitarian Hall of Fame. That is right here in Boise. We have Diego Gutierrez of the Chicago Fire Soccer Team and pentathlete Tracy Mattis. Welcome to the both of you and welcome Thank to you. Boise. Thank, Thank you. you. What's your trip been like so far? Very enjoyable. Yeah. yeah. My, it's my first time here, but it's been uh, fantastic so far. Well, good. How about you, Tracy? Met some, met some fantastic people. And we got some of those around. Been. You yeah. do, you do, yes. <laughs> well, I was hoping that the both of you could kind of tell me about the humanitarian efforts that you have. Well, Tracy, let's go ahead and start with you. What do you work with? I work with um, the United Nations World Tourism Organization, particularly the STEP Foundation. STEP stands for Sustainable Tourism for the Elimination of Poverty. And our projects target um, severely underdeveloped countries mm -hmm. in, in Africa, parts of Asia, mm -hmm. and um, primarily building small libraries. Thank you, Small Library is an initiative started um, there, and it's it, it's being very successful. And then also with the, the World Olympians Association and trying to get athletes out to be ambassadors and mentors in, in communities in, in worldwide. So those are the things primarily we're focusing on. Certainly a worthwhile cause there. Yes. Diego, tell me about you. What are you working with? Well, right now I'm uh, engaged with uh, a campaign called Nothing But Nets, mm -hmm. and it's, uh, it's a malaria campaign. It, it's a campaign that ends... Uh, aims to stop the spread of malaria throughout the world. As you uh, may know, uh, about 500 million people are contracted with the disease of malaria every year, and about 1 million people die. And there's about 3,000 kids that are dying daily because of this disease. Uh, and uh, by using bed nets, we can alleviate that. So it has proven to be a very good method uh, mm -hmm. against the disease. And uh, so we are trying to get uh, the word out to the American public. It has been quite successful so mm -hmm. far. And uh, we, we're, we're very uh, enthusiastic about it. Both truly honorable causes. Diego, I'm curious, uh, was there someone that uh, when you were either growing up or in your, um, you know, the, the last few years that has inspired you to, to get involved in, in trying to help out others? Uh, you know, I think for me the foundation started at home. And my parents instilled in me a, a belief that uh, when you're in a position where you can help others, you you got to use that. And uh, so I've tried not, not only through my youth but throughout my, pro my professional career. Mm -hmm. Uh, try to take advantage of that. Tracy, uh, was there a specific person or event in your life that kind of led you to believe that you needed to do beyond what you already were? You know, I think there was. Sport offers such great opportunities, and for me, I was able to travel to many places in the world. And that kind of travel really heightens your you know, awareness of what certain countries visiting some of these remote areas in, in parts of Africa. And a particular event is I actually contracted malaria myself really? when I was in Africa. And it was truly one of the scariest times of my life. And I was lucky that I was an American athlete and I had people scrambling to get me care. And afterwards, it really, it really opened my eyes to the people in these villages, thousands as he's taking, millions of people dying, and there's no Calvary coming in. There's no yeah. one to help them even when they're dying. And I had a brother that was in the U.S. Peace Corps, and I started exploring different areas and how I could actually get involved, you know, hands-on with the people, how I could help make a difference and use this platform as being an athlete to really bring recognition and to really kind of get out there and make a difference. And that was a, probably a key, really eye-opening experience in my life. I think I can understand why, yeah. Uh, Diego, what does induction to the, uh, the humanitarian hall mean to you? Well, it means a whole lot. It means a whole lot because uh, although, uh, and I think Tracy would agree with me, we, we, don't, get in, we don't engage uh, on activities like this so that we uh, are honored and recognized. It's always nice when, you, uh, when, when people do notice uh, that you're trying to make a difference. So for me to uh, to be with such a fantastic group of people, it's it's uh, it's quite flattering. Tracy, how about you? It's yeah. It's it, words are hard to, to describe how it is because you you don't realize when you're kind of the day to day, right. the travels, the different parts, the the work that you do, and you really don't think anybody notices, and you don't expect that. So so it is special. They do pay attention. It is special in that aspect, and it's also special. You know, a message to the children out there. While what you do in sports is and the wonderful values that come with it is great, but it's how you really transfer what you've learned there into the real world and, and give back. Well, speaking of touching lives, how was your experience yesterday working with uh, the Boise State soccer team? It was fun. Yeah. It was fun. I think uh, the kids had a good time. I'll uh, bet they did. Anytime we have an, uh, an opportunity to get in front of kids and try to deliver a message, whether it's through soccer or, or any other tool, uh, we try to take advantage. So I, I think the kids had a good time. 
Uh, certainly the weather cooperated. You guys have to keep the weather up. <laughs> I'm ready for that weather to change. Yeah. Well, my uh, appreciation goes out to both of uh -huh. you for all your efforts. We are glad that you're here. Yes. Teresa, I know this is kind of old hat to you at this point because uh -huh. you used to be a TV producer, too. Well, the 15th <laughs> annual induction ceremony is set for tonight at 7 at Quest Arena. And tickets are $15 or $5 for students. My thanks again to the both of you for getting up so early in the morning to be here with us. And we appreciate all your efforts and all that you're doing for everyone around the world. Thank you.